Hey you all, my name is Jamie and today we're going to be talking about my premium Snapchat and as an adult content creator, what I post, how much I charge, and I'm also just going to give you some tips and tricks of what I've learned and how to make sure that you don't get your account banned, which I have been banned and I'll tell you how I was able to get a new account. So yeah, a little backstory on my premium snapchat is that i started it right when i started streaming on chatterbait because as i was doing re research for chatterbait i noticed on a lot of the cam models tip menu is that they were offering a premium snap so i started off with a 75 dollars uh, premium snap at this time i'm pretty sure it was lifetime I'm pretty sure it was lifetime for that and I would post four to five times a week I advertised then that I would talk to them and mind you I didn't have that many people when I started so it didn't take too much energy to have to talk to like three people <laughs> and so yeah I advertised I would talk to people I also said that you could save my photos and you can send me photos and i think that is it so as it grew i started charging a hundred dollars i gave myself a raise i took away the advertising that i'll talk to you just because it started to grow and there was too many people to talk to and now it's 125 dollars for a lifetime i only post two to three times a week now they're still able to save my photos but only in the camera the Snapchat uh, camera roll. They're not allowed to save it to the personal camera roll. Yeah, they can still send me photos as well. I will talk to them, but I just don't, there's like too many of them now to be able to give my energy that much to Snapchat, especially when I'm not streaming or working on my OF, like I'm just being a human being trying to, just a girl trying to live her life and get her shit in order. So I just couldn't give that much energy to it now i did i used to charge weekly and i used to also well i used to offer a weekly uh, time on my snapchat and i think i used to also offer a monthly and then i did it i think i charged 25 dollars for a week only and i only say that because i charged it 500 tokens on chatterbait so they would i would get like 25 bucks but they were charging more because they were purchasing tokens i'm not entirely sure what i would charge for people who would cash at me for that i think it was still 25 i think it was um but that just became too annoying to have to keep track of people like if i was if you're if this is like solely what you want to do snap uh i think offering that would be great extra income um just kind of have that flexibility for the people who are wanting to purchase that that service from you but yeah it just became too much to keep track i'm pretty sure there are apps if you're wanting to do that that way where when someone purchases you can like put their info into the app and then it will send you like a notification when it's time for them to pay again and then you can follow up with them um i hate doing that because it just it feels like mothering i feel like i'm going to some grown-ass men being like hey can you please respect me and remember to pay the fact that you need to like do your monthly payment again so i took that away and i just offered lifetime i don't care if they really unfriend me and then add me back because some of these men have girlfriends and or like flings i don't know or they're just like dating and like they don't want to see that there's you know they don't want to get their notifications popping up their phone from this random person on snapchat that says dreamy riri you know <laughs> so I don't really care if they unfriend me and then add me back but if i had to add you back i'm going to be questioning you and you possibly may have to pay again so it says lifetime but if you're like gone and you're like trying to come back after like six months like absolutely not you're gonna have to pay again now uh a little tips and tricks is i have had my account reported before and i think it was i had a subscriber 
who felt entitled to my time. And yeah, he was just, I'm like, I'm not having this conversation with you about you thinking that you feel entitled to my time or my content. And I think that he reported me. And the only reason why I think that my account got taken down was because I was posting then, I was posting my news to my story because I liked that they were able to stay there for 24 hours. So when they came on, they would be able to see it. And it's also easier for them to save it. Cause sometimes when you send videos personally to someone, I've been told that they weren't able to save the video. Um, but then other people were able to save it. So I don't know if that's like a user error on the consumer's part, but I have no idea. So Snapchat took away my account. Basically, they're like, you were reported and basically we can, we're keeping an eye on you for the allegations and they were true because I posted a nude on my, my story. And so they took away my account. And I could not get my account back at all. I could, I don't even know if I was able to log into my free account. I was, but only on my laptop. I wasn't able to log into my free account on my phone because they had banned, they ban your device, okay? They don't just ban your account, they ban your device so you can't make another account. So if that's your problem right now, you're gonna have to go get a new phone. That's all I can tell you. You have to go get a new phone to and a whole new device to be able to get their snap so i got my snap taken away and it was like months okay and i had previously i had a lot of people who had paid the lifetime and were on there for like like a couple of years and um of course the ones that noticed reached out and I told them everything that was happening and they were so patient and sweet. You're gonna have people who are gonna purchase your snap and you're gonna hear from them for like a week and then you'll never hear from them again. <laughs> and so there, there, I had a few of those that when my snap went away, I don't think they really cared anymore. And also people, I mean, they get in relationships or they're like, I don't wanna, you know, be getting nudes like that, you know, during the day anymore and um so they'll like just delete me which is totally fine but i had a few people wait and then i had upgraded my phone and i was able to get a new snap now when i post and i send content i never post it on my story anymore it is sent only to that individual so i'm not entirely sure with the boundaries of snap with that because I'm sending it to a certain person, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if like one of those people could report me again and then get my account banned. So just keep an eye out for that. I do have a free account as well. I never post on there, but it's a nice way for people who want to ask follow-up questions, who don't have Instagram or Twitter, they can just hop onto Snap and they can message me. I've had some sales through my free, my free Snap when I go on there and check people's messages. Cause some people are just trying to holler at you and send you nudes. And then some people are genuinely asking questions about how to be able to connect with you in a more personal way, whether that's like a Skype, or again, purchasing my premium snap, they'll reach out through my free snap. Uh, Cause some people don't wanna purchase tokens and some people wanna just like cash at me. So cash app. Um, and I also charge on Chatterbait, I charge 20 and my free camps, I charge 2,500 tokens for a lifetime. And that's usually where most of my purchases come from is through Chatterbait and 2,500 tokens, I'm getting $125. So it's the same price, except they're having to purchase more because of the tokens. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk about. Oh, the type of stuff that I post. So I will post anything. I'll post my cute outfit. I will post me shaking my butt. I will post, um, you know, my yoni, my private bits. 
Okay, one thing I want to end this video on that I think is a very important conversation to have is especially when we're talking about Snapchat and I'm gonna even include like Skypes in there, private shows. We need to always verify every, age verify every single person. I would hate to think that there are people out here thinking they're gonna do this side business, especially with Snap, where it's a platform that doesn't have any age verification when we're, we're talking about sending explicit content to people. You need to be age verifying. If you're not age verifying, you're wrong. You're dead ass wrong. I do not support that in any way. Please do not get confused by the things that I'm talking about on here, especially when we're talking about a platform that has no age verification. And when I have people on my free snap and like Twitter or even Instagram asking me, hey, how much is your premium? Hey, how much is a, a Skype show? I'll tell them the price and age verification. Well, how do I age verify? This is a beautiful thing about having um, a free OnlyFans, a free Fansly. I don't care what platform it is. You need to create one so that they can go just, most people have an account on OnlyFans or Fansly, especially if they're purchasing porn. Most buyers do. So at least that's in my experience. So in the past when I had my free OnlyFans, it was never a problem for them to go subscribe to it, confirm their at name on whatever social media, whether that was Twitter, whether that, that was Snap. Um, and then they could also pay through OnlyFans if they prefer that or they can you, you they can go back to free snapchat after they've confirmed their identity on an age verified verification site like only fans and they can follow through on cash app or paypal or whatever you prefer if they don't have a free only fans or a free fansly sometimes i will ask if they have an account on chatterbait or my free cams if they do okay go tip a token on my account just because you have to be able you have to be age verified to purchase tokens on chatterbait or my free cams now i don't really like doing it that way i think i've had one person do it that way i'm pretty like you know you need to have an only fans or i tell them that um they can do it the old-fashioned way you can send me now when you do the id this is very important <laughs> When you do the ID, they need to, you, it needs to be like almost live. And I don't mean like in a live stream. I just mean like you all need to be texting back and forth. Like they need to be present and be like, hey, do you have five to 10 minutes to age verify? Most people don't like to do it this way, but you'd be surprised how many men be sending me their whole ass IDs. <laughs> just, and I love that because like they, they just like, there's no argument either. They're like, oh yeah, I'll do this for you. And if they are being weird about it, block and ban because why are you being weird about me age verifying to make sure that you're not a minor? Like you're the fucking weird one. So I'll have them send me a picture of their ID. They can block out all their personal info if they like, um, but I need to see your photo. I need to see that your ID is not expired. And I also need to see your date of birth. Now, after they send your ID, their ID, I need you, you to tell them, okay, now I need you to make a video on Snap right now saying today's date, my username, and give them a random word to say. And it needs to be of their face. They need to be talking on it. So like, I need you to say, it is July 26, 2024. Your at name is at Dreamy Riri and the word I give them is Apple. And they need to send that right after they sent their ID. There's no like, okay, I'll get that video to you tomorrow. Or, okay, I'll give it to you in 10 minutes. Absolutely not. And if they do wait 10 minutes, okay, I need you to make a new video of your face <laughs> saying today's date at Dreamy Riri, and now I need you to say pineapple. And so, that's how I age verify. So I need to make sure that their face is matching their ID. And um, yeah, that's how that's how I do it. And then once they do that, we can move forward with 
the payment. So, very important, you know, we as we um, sex workers already have like a negative, I want to say a negative association. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say, but you all know what I'm trying to say. You know, society already doesn't like us, okay? Society. So let's not give them anything else to be pointing the finger at and see, like, see, this is why it's bad. We don't want, we don't, I don't, no. <laughs> There's bad batches in every group of people. So I just think that it's very important to make sure that we're always acting responsibly. Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like. Uh, if you have any other information or that you would like to share, please comment down below. Anything that you, I could be doing extra. I mean, this isn't about me. Even if you're like someone, hey, I do weekly stuff and this is how I do it. Like, comment down below for maybe someone who's looking for that type of information. Again, use the com comment section almost as like a forum of tips and tricks that you may do um things that i could also learn from and yes i hope you enjoyed the video i've made this fucking video like 10 times because i feel insecure today but i'm happy that i pushed through and it's done now. <laughs> all right bye love you